students welcome back so in the previous video I explained about the code migration now let's see what are the different migration models that are there so if you want to generate a code migration in the distributed system you can use any one of the models now let's see uh, before seeing the different migration models you know that the process consisting of three segments so a complete process whatever the process that has to be executed a program that has to be executed by the processor is a process so this process is divided into three code segments one is a uh, three segments one is a code segment resource segment and execution segment okay so the code segment whatever the code that has to be there that has to be migrated if it has to be migrated uh, you can migrate the complete uh, code or you can uh, migrate the process also now let's see a migration is a mobility you can call it as a migration or a mobility that can be a weak or a strong so you the migration that taking place uh, if it is a code or if it is a process and if it is anything uh, that can be a weak or a strong so weak migration means only code segment can be transferred so in the process only the code segment is transferred then you call it as a weak migration you call it as a weak migration strong migration is code and execution execution segments can both be transferred so here the code and execution both are transferred then you call it as a strong migration so when you call a strong migration when you are going to transfer the code as well as the execution part code and what execution that you want to be uh, what type of operation that you have to be performed if both are transferred then it is a strong migration weak migration means only the code has to be transferred you, it doesn't know what type of execution it has to be to later the execution uh, segment can be transferred so it means that is a weak migration okay so the migration may be a strong migration or a weak migration and also the migration can be sender initiator and the receiver initiated so these are all the different models strong migration weak migration sender initiated receiver initiated so what is a sender initiated sender initiated means sender the person who wants to send the data the receiver who receiving the data okay so here the sender initiated means uploading code to a server so it is going to upload upload a code from client to the server it is uploading a code to a server so example is client sending a query to database server so it is just asking a query i want to uh, get some data means i want to upload a data i want to retrieve a data something information the sender is going to initiate the receiver so here the sender is the client and this is the receiver server is the receiver now let's see the another migration that is a receiver initiated now this time the receiver is initiated here downloading code from a server so client is asking to upload a code and server is uh, giving a permission to download a code download code so now the code is migrating from server to the client so this is the receiver initiated downloading code from a server by a client so example is client downloading java applets from the server from the server the uh, java applets are downloading to the client system so these are all the different migration models so this let's see here the migration mechanism consisting of weak mobility and strong mobility so what i said weak mobility means weak mobility means only code segment is transferred weak mobility or weak migration means only the code segment is transferred in this case whereas strong mobility means code segment as well as the execution segment both are transferred that is a strong mobility or strong migration okay so the weak mobility is sender initiated as well as the receiver initiated in the same way the strong mobility can be sender initiated mobility or the receiver initiated mobility okay so if you want to transfer the code only then it can be initiated by the sender or the receiver in the same way if you want to transfer the code segment along with the ex uh, execution segment it may be sender initiated or receiver initiated if suppose it is a sender initiated 
execute a target process execute in separate process and if it is a receiver initiated means execute a target process executed in a separate process so both the uh, sender and the receiver here because it is only the code segment is transferring whenever the code segment is transferring from a sender to the receiver or receiver to sender it performs same operations executed target process executed in separate process whereas in the strong mobility the sender initiative it migrates the process and clone the process migrate process and clone process in the same way the receiver initiated it migrate process and the clone process so these are all the different models of the migration models the migration models are of two types weak migrated or strong migration weak migration may be sender initiated or receiver initiated in the same way strong mobility means sender initiated or receiver initiated thank you